Ooh, what's up guys? This is Billy coming to you with a brand new G Fuel video. Fellas, this is a moment in G Fuel history that we're all going to remember for a long time. The very first time G Fuel has brought protein implemented into their energy blend. And uh, <laughs> this has been wanted from a lot of people, man. It's been wanted for a long time and from a lot of people. And they're always like, man, I would love, I would love a protein supplement from G Fuel. Well, it's here. And I get the privilege of reviewing it early. So thank you, G Fuel, for sending this out. I appreciate you. But that's right, fellas. We have G Fuel Energy and Protein. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. We got three amazing flavors in here. 15 grams of protein, 140 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, there seems to be no indication on nutritional facts right now. So um, there's no calorie count for uh, this particular package and there is no uh, question if there's sugar in it. I guess we're gonna figure out if there's if this is sugar free ourselves because I will be able to tell. I will 100% be able to tell. The first flavor, and it may surprise a lot of you. Oh, who saw this coming, man? French vanilla latte. Look at that, we have the lot number down there. So if you guys are wondering what lot this is, this is the French vanilla lot right there. You can see it in 4K glory. There you go. We're gonna be trying all of these today, man. All of these and see which one is best. We also have, I'm very excited for this one, chocolate. We have a chocolate flavor. There's the lot number in 4K goodness. Once again, same outside packaging right there from G Fuel. And lastly, we have the third flavor, which is indeed a cafe mocha flavor. There we go, lot number. There you go, if you need the lot number, there it is. Cafe Mocha, same packaging. <sighs> Which one do I try first, man? So we have three shakers here for our testing. Um, you know what? You know what we're gonna try first? We're gonna try French vanilla latte and see how this one is. Cause uh, we've already had a French vanilla iced coffee G Fuel flavor in the past. And uh, I remember reviewing that and loving it. So, wow, I already smell it coming up. Oh my God. That smells insane. Ooh, I'm a big coffee guy, man. I'm a big coffee guy. There you go. There's how the powder looks. That looks like normal G Fuel powder, honestly. But ooh, the smell. The smell reminds me of uh, the cappuccino mix, like the instant cappuccino mix. French vanilla. Let's see, man. Let's pour this up and uh, see what happens. Put one full scoop in there. there. Oh my God, it's a lot of powder. That is a lot of powder. Now you could uh, create these in a blender. It's up to you. I like to use shakers just cause they're easy and we're gonna see uh, the foaming content, see how much this foams up. But uh, I am super, super excited because uh, protein powder, I kind of like protein powder, man. I'm not gonna lie, like flavored protein powders, they're, they're, they're delicious most of the time for me anyway. Now, while I shake this up, let me give you a little rundown on what we got going here. This is their groundbreaking formula combined signature 140 milligrams of caffeine, caffeinated energy formula with 15 grams of metabolism boosting whey protein. Ooh, okay, well, let's, let's pop this. Foam content is very high, obviously. Look at that. You just mix it with 16 ounces of water. That's two cups of water. Same as you would with any G Fuel flavor. Okay. The smell I'm getting right now is very, very vanilla-y. A very vanilla-y smell. Oh my goodness. I'm not getting much coffee in the scent. It kind of just smells like straight vanilla. First time trying G Fuel in protein formula. Let's try it. All right, so this kind of tastes like um, the Starbucks Frappuccinos, the vanilla Frappuccinos that they normally get. Very tasty. No powder residue in my mouth. It is super tasty and I still got two more flavors to try. So I'm, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for another day. Next, we're gonna try the chocolate packet. Oh my goodness, okay. So chocolate protein powder usually blows me away. Let's see how this one blows me. It smells like brownies. It, it smells like brownies. What in the heck? 
Yeah, it's. It doesn't smell like normal chocolate. This this legit smells like brownies. Okay, so let's pour this in. See what we got here. Oh my god, there's so much powder coming out of these, man. Like, look at the mound of powder that's on that. So now the the taste of the French vanilla is settling in my mouth. The aftertaste. The aftertaste is pretty good. It's not like an unsettling aftertaste that a lot of people got with the original French vanilla iced coffee formula. This one actually, ooh man, I bet these would taste even better in milk. I'm trying all these in water. Like I said, you can mix these with milk as well, man. Like you're not restricted to water, but wow. Like for being mixed with water, these are really impressive so far. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Chocolate powder kind of smells like Ovaltine. Kind of getting an Ovaltine scent from it. That is interesting. I love Ovaltine. Ovaltine is very good. It's like a chocolate malt now that I'm smelling it. Let's see how it tastes though. Cheers to you guys. It's like a chocolate malt. Yeah. It's a chocolate malt. Mm -hmm. The fact that this tastes so good and it's in water Chocolate and water is usually hit or miss, but I swear th if you put these in milk out of this world, it kind of reminds me of Ovaltine, honestly, like a lighter Ovaltine taste. It's very good. But yeah, Ovaltine is the best way I can describe the flavor to you guys, like what I can compare the chocolate taste that I'm getting. So we have one more to taste here, that being the Cafe Mocha. Let's see how this last one compares. So far, I got to say, the chocolate is my favorite over the French vanilla. So let's see. Oh my God. All right, this smells like, a, I'm, I'm kind of sensing caramel from this, which is weird. Like a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. That's honestly what I can compare it to. Caramel macchiato from Starbucks. Which is weird because there's no caramel in this. Uh, it just says cafe mocha. So this is supposed to be like a chocolate and coffee. If you don't know what mocha is, it's like a chocolatey coffee kind of, but I'm kind of getting caramel macchiato from uh, from the smell of the actual powder. And these mix up super well. So this has been sitting for a little while here. And let's see if any powder has resonated on the bottom. Let's see here. No, look at that. No powder is resonating on the bottom. It's literally just foam. That is interesting, man. Wow. So usually when you drink G Fuel, sometimes if you let it sit too long you got, and you want to take another sip, you're going to have to shake it up a little bit more. But with these, it seems like the mixture is working super well. Okay, so this one is very coffee-like. A lot more coffee-like than the French vanilla was. So let's snap into this and see what it tastes like. I really think these are sugar-free. Okay. So once again, this tastes like the 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 bottled Starbucks drinks, kind of. And it tastes like as if there was a sugar-free version of the Starbucks Frappuccino drinks. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. And man, it, it tastes so good, man. It really does. It does have some kind of fake sugar consistency in this one particularly. These are very good and it gives you your sources of protein every day. Oh my God. Would recommend mixing these with milk if you're not too much of a water person. I very much love mixing my G Fuel with water, but these I feel like would be 100% better in milk. Uh, me particularly, I like water because I like less calories. This is the kind of guy I am. I like less calories and milk will bring on more calories. G Fuel absolutely blew me away with this, man. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm recording this obviously in advance because I want to get the video out directly on the day that we're allowed to promote this on social media, that being April 24th. May 1st is the launch date for this on gfuel.com and the G Fuel app. So if you guys want to try this, I highly recommend you do, man, because this is, this is crazy. I'm pretty sure these are sugar-free too. If they're not, you'll know on the website when you look at the nutritional facts, but this box in particular doesn't have any indication of that. But if you look here, you can have it for breakfast, pre or post-workout, and a nice little snack. If you don't want to eat too much, uh, you got all that nice little snack there. But in my opinion, from best to least best, uh, I would say my number one is chocolate. 
chocolate has to take the number one because, oh man, it tastes just like Ovaltine. And I'm going to say Cafe Mocha. And then the last place, third place, I'm going to say French Vanilla Latte takes that trophy. Three great flavors, beautiful start to the protein lineup. I'm excited to see what else G Fuel does. It's going to be absolutely killer. Anyway, guys, peace, love. I'm live on Kick every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. First link in the description. Follow me on Kick. Love to have you a part of the community. Be sure to use code Billet on gfuel.com and on your G Fuel app to save some money and support the channel. I genuinely appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios for now, guys.